Hey, what's up guys? Tommy here back again with another video. And today we'll be exploring some of the reasons why I love my Zero 10X and why I'm glad I bought it. Now you're watching Endo Prism, subscribe and let's get right into the video. Now, if you're watching this video, you've probably ridden a bike at least once in your life. And you know that bikes are absolutely amazing as personal transport vehicles. You can ride basically anywhere, whether that's a hiking trail, the sidewalk, the bike path, or on the road with little to no consequences. And that's why they are the personal transport vehicle of choice for many people, especially where I live. But you know what's cooler than a bicycle? Yep, you heard me right. You thought I was going to say Zero 10X, but no, motorcycles are clinically proven to be cooler than any bicycle. Motorcycles are fast and fun, and I sure as hell rather be on one of those than on a bicycle. But where there are advantages, there are disadvantages. You can't just go and ride anywhere you want on a motorcycle. And you also need a license for your motorcycle, which requires you to be a certain age, which isn't exactly ideal for some people. Now what if you can get the best of both worlds with the bike and the motorcycle? The speed and power of the motorcycle with the freedom you get on the bike. But when the best of both worlds of the motorcycle and the bike have a baby, you get the Zero 10X. Where'd the baby come out of? <laughs> When you cram the power and speed of a 125cc motorcycle into the frame of a scooter, people don't really seem to care where you go. It's almost as if they're too busy picking their jaws off the floor as they watch you speed past them at 35 miles per hour while they're on their $6,000 electric bike which only goes 20 miles per hour. And that fact alone makes you feel untouchable as you have all of that power in a 70 pound package and you can take it wherever you want to go and nobody does anything about it. Now you might be wondering, is all that power even safe in such a small frame? And is it stable at high speeds? Absolutely. I frequently take my Zero 10X to its top speed, and never once have I ever experienced any speed wobble. Those 2000 watt motors definitely produce a lot of torque, but the scooter is definitely built for it and it handles it quite well. So as long as you make sure that all the bolts are tight, you should have no problem cruising at its top speed worry free. Oh no, you crash. You're bruised up pretty bad, but your head's okay because you chose to wear a helmet. But then you think to yourself, oh no, did I break my scooter? You look around for a little bit to locate your scooter, and then you finally spot it about 10 feet away from you. You walk up to it to make sure it's okay, and you pick it up. And you notice that your scooter's just fine. You might have a bit of a bent rotor, maybe some scratches on the side of the scooter, but overall your scooter is ready to hop on and ride away. What you have to thank are the durable build materials the scooter is made out of. For the most part, the scooter is machined aluminum from head to toe, which gives it a very solid body structure. And you'll find that when you crash, more damage will be done to you than your scooter. So there you have it guys, those are some of the reasons why I love my Zero 10X and I'm glad I bought it. There are also a lot of other things such as the great range I get with it and the soft suspension and pneumatic tires which I absolutely love. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to leave a nice comment and subscribe as it helps me out a lot and you guys have a great rest of your day.